So Gisborne kicking towards the Barnard Street end in this first term in their blue, red and white. Sandhurst in the maroon and blue kicking towards the city end. Our umpires today are Gene Hodkins, Tristan Burgess and Jeff Williamson. Here's Jock Clark to get us underway on the Fresh 895 FM. And we are underway. Bounce of the ball. Duff Titler first touch. Nobody gets it effectively. Big Eddie Barakay in there imposing himself early on the contest. He can't take the football. Andrews on his hands and knees for Sandhurst locked up early. And the umpire will come in and ball it up again. Going to be physical, no doubt about it, early, I reckon. And already both sides inside 30 seconds attacking the footy pretty fiercely. Secondary bounce, down by Tough Titler, uh, Duff Titler, just dropped it at his feet. And uh, anybody with a dodgy name <laughs> like that is going to get it uh, pronounced a few ways. Another ball up. So our third in a row, Pete, see if you can clear the congestion. Up it goes again. Duff Titler wins the tap convincingly this time. Out towards the swimming pool wing. Matty Fitzgerald's there. Just got a kick away in time. Out towards the scoreboard flank, but uh, running back with the flight to take the mark for the Dragons is Andy Noonan back there. The uh, Bendigo Pioneer made his way into the Sanders team late this season. Kicks up the swimming pool wing. Won't find a target down there. Ball bounces once over the boundary line on centre wing. Let's Let's go to Mark Burke for Brian Dunbendigo. The bench for Gisborne is Mackenzie, Anglin and Ferrugia. Thank you, Darts. Out of sight of the ground. Wing position. Ball to be thrown back into play. Good crowd. Terrific weather conditions. Set for a great granny. Up they go. Again, Duff Titler. Three hit outs in a row. Can't find anybody. After it is Elsom. He couldn't find the handle on the ball. Fitzgerald can for the Bulldogs. Pumps it up towards half forward. Big fist over the back. Knocked away by Kieran Prowse. Over the line and out of bounds. It'll be thrown in just outside the Bulldogs 50. Swimming pool pocket. Out of sight of the ground. Two minutes gone. First term. No score on the board as yet. Duff Titler worked his way to the front of the ruck contest. Stumped it forward here for Gisborne. Going back there is uh, Gather Cole. He couldn't pick up the footy. Chance now for Elsom. He's run down from behind. Ball jars free and goes out of bounds. We'll have a boundary throwing over on that far side of the ground. Massive crowds build up here, Wayne. Uh, what, what do you think of the matchup so far? Well, matchups aren't too bad, but it's very scramby. I think both sides are trying to assert some authority right now, Peter, but Nothing's happening to stage. Atkinson and Duff Titler do battle in the ruck from the throw-in and it's punched back over the line and out of bounds and again we will be uh, have the ball thrown back into play by the boundary umpire. Pretty much the matchups as we expected. Up they go from the throw-in. Umpire's picked out a free kick and it's going to Sandhurst in the back half of the ground. I think it might be Atkinson to take it for a ruck infringement. It is. Goes down the wing. Out of side. Marcus Barham out in front. Cops a high one but the ball's gone over the line out of bounds and and the umpire is going to allow it to be thrown back in. So still on the wing. Out of side of the ground. Still a dead heat. Both sides feeling each other out. No score on the board as yet. So Duff Titler and Atkinson had plenty of work to do already. Duff Titler won the tap. Bit of uh, pinball in there. Now a chance for Andrews if the ball will sit for him. Goes to knees. Then got a hand pass here. Great stuff. Got it to Gather Cole. He'll kick inside 50. Looking down there for Mitrovic. Goes over his head. Anglin going back there with him. Also McInerney. There is Coma. Snap over the left shoulder. Back towards the top of the square. Up they go. No mark to Ben Sexton. Ball hits the deck. Sharps in there for Gisborne. He's tackled. Ball jars free once again. Now Medica. Just got a hand pass away. Comer in there fighting for it. Also Richardson. Players throwing themselves at the footy. Elsom's in there. Puts his body over the footy again. Now a chance for Masaudi at the top of the goal square. Ball still in dispute. Picked up by Comer. Snap out of the back. Just touched on the line, I think. In fact, it hit the base of the post. And it's the opening score of this match. Sanders one behind. Gisborne yet to score. Three and a half minutes gone this first term on the Bristol Paints Williamson Street scoreboard. I tell you what, that was about 60 seconds of the most intense pressure you'd ever see and that set the tone for this grand final don't worry about that ball brought in on the outer side by McInerney of Gisborne goes wide good kick picks out a teammate over there Rodney Sharp takes the mark so Sharp's got it out of side back pocket just on defense of 50 weighs the options takes his time measured kick down towards the wing up they go Elliot in front takes the mark but it was over the line wasn't a good kick out of bounds on the full so it'll be turned over go back to Sandhurst and they'll drive the ball back to half forward taken by Nile. short kick that's okay teammate found mark taken by Prowse not paid it's got to go back and do it all again get on with it what happened not sure. We'll have, we'll have to work that one in. We'll get Mark Burke to explain it for well, Brian Dunbendy. Well, he kicked it to Prowse and he had to go back. What's going on, Berkey? A blood rule, boys. Oh. Uh, Sharpie's coming off under the blood rule. That's what the hold-up is. There you go. Might have been picked up in that scrimmage. That uh, might have been from Luke, Luke Jones. Might have done that. Okay. Just a, a, accidental. You sure, you sure accidental. that was? Accidental. Yeah. Pretty confident. It was, yes. <laughs> So uh, Niall with ball in hand over on the far side of the ground, the swimming pool side of the ground. Darren Ferruja coming onto the ground to take the place of uh, Rod Sharp. So Niall 
Still with his ball in hand. Play, he's got nearly every player on the ground in front of him. I think he has got every player on the ground in front yep, of him. Yep, he has. Yeah. Gisborne have flooded right back into the back half of the ground. He'll go long, down towards the Camp Hill flank. Fitzgerald, his target, big fly from Jones. Couldn't hold the mark. At ground level, Fitzgerald did well. Spun out of the pack, got it to Jones. He was tackled by Barricade. Ball picked up now by Matt Fitzgerald. He kicks long towards the outer side of the ground. Out of bounds on the full once again. And this time it'll be a free kick to Niall again for Sandhurst. Well, he's racking up the stats, Kieran Niall, from out on the falls. He's got it on the wing, out of sight again. We'll do it again. Long pump into the forward pocket. Flyers need it. Up they go. Fitzgerald up high. Hands to it. Couldn't trap it. Close to the line. It's pushed over and out of bounds. And it'll be a throw in about 30 metres around from the behind post. Deep into forward pocket. Dragons attacking. We've played just over five minutes of time. First quarter of the grand final. Still no score on the board. Sorry, there is. One behind. It is two. Sandhurst. Tough tight. They've got a clearing kick outside defensive 50, but only as far as Atkinson. His hand pass goes to Gather Cole. Runs to 50. Long to the square. Sexton's got the sit. Shepherds it through for a point. Ball bounced in the goal square and then did a, a shame worn special. A leg break through for a behind. Sanders two behinds. Gisborne yet to score after six minutes in this first term on the Newmarket Hotel Charleston Road scoreboard. McInerney brings it back into play. Barham's got loose. That's the Marcus variety, the skipper of Gisborne. Takes it on defensive 50 down the wing. Grandstand side. Great kick. Puts it on the chest of Luke Saunders. The Rolls Royce has got it on a packed grandstand wing. Goes long to half forward. Inside fifth. Geordie Barham to target. Couldn't complete the mark. The crumb red beautifully by Elliott. Steadies from 40 and goes bang. First goal of the grand final. Bulldogs get it. The reigning premiers. And Ty Elliott read it beautifully from the marking contest. Kick truly from 40. Gisborne to one straight goal. Sandhurst, two behinds, two points. That is on the Bristol Paints Williamson Street scoreboard. Wayne Walsh on the fresh 8 9 five. What a great goal. Jock set up well from the full back line. Kicked out to Barham. Barham worked the ball well down. You know, down the forward line, down to uh, Saunders. Saunders centred the ball to centre half forward. Good roving by Tyler and a great goal by the Gisborne Football Club. Ball back in the centre once again. Atkinson won the tap for Sanders. Chance here for Vigas. Tap the ball out in front. Goes by hand to Richardson who runs to the edge, edge of the square. Now he runs inside 50. Flying shot at goal on the right boot. Might be the quick reply. No. Mark on the line to Gisborne. Mark McInerney on the very last line of defence took a great mark going back with the flight. Now he plays on quickly. Dangerous chip kick looking for Masaudi. Fitzgerald spoiled. Mark Fitzgerald steadies from 25. <laughs> Mark Fitzgerald gets the Dragons. Quick reply and they go back in front by two points. Sandhurst, 1-2-8. Gisborne, one straight six. Seven and a half minutes gone on the Limerick Tavern scoreboard, Wayne Walsh. It's an old saying in football, in finals, always control the ball in the first 10 minutes of the game. And right now, that ball was copped up with an inerrant kick towards the centre of the ball. Put it, keep the ball, your possession, keep it wide. He went in board, two on one situation. Two goals on the board, nerves have settled, one apiece, back in the centre, ball up, Duff Titler dropped at his feet, Masaudi the clearance for Gisborne, inside 50, nobody can take the mark, taken by Elsom, hand pass to Fitzgerald, goes to the action attraction, Reaper can't take it, fell over in the attempt, in the forward pocket, Perez has got the crumb, inside defence of 50, finds some space to work with, goes to half back, can't find a teammate, Niall was the target, off his hands, out of bounds to be thrown back in, swimming pool back flanked for Santa, out of side of the ground. Boundary umpire's got the footy to throw it back. One straight, six points. Gisborne trail Sandhurst, one, two, eight. Eight minutes gone, first quarter grand final. Duff uh, Tyler with the tap down towards his feet. Chance here for Masaudi. Got a hand pass out. And a chance now for Gisborne to go inside 50 through Elliott. Kicks long towards the square. Barham with the sit. Up he goes. Oh, he might have pulled down a brilliant mark. He has. Jordan Barham. 35 metres out. It looked to be a couple of pairs of hands on the footy, perhaps, Wayne Walsh. No, I thought he marked it. He saw these big, long arms of 51. I thought he had first use of the ball, Peter. So, so Jordan Barham, he kicked five last week in the uh, Bulldogs' big win over Eagle Hawk by 65 points here at the QEO as uh, Rod Sharp prepares to make his way back out onto the ground. We'll go to Mark Burke for Brian Dunn. Then you go. After Barham has this shot for goal. In he comes. That slow approach. He'll kick from 35 out directly in front towards the Barnard Street end. In he comes, slices it away towards the right off the outside of the boot and through for behind. Gisborne 117, Sandhurst 128. That's on the Tuttenham's Carpet Court, top end of Mitchell Street scoreboard. Mark Burke for Brian Dunbendigo. Barricade's now going to Luke Jones, boys. Fair enough, uh, Dave. Thanks, I think uh, very wise words indeed, those. We can all learn something from it. Proust to bring it back into play for Sandhurst. And he's just uh, measuring his time now. He goes long to the outer side. Have a look at the kick. 75 metres. And the mark has been taken by Gathercole. Great clearance work 
by the Dragons. Good mark, Gathercold got it at halfback between halfback and wing out of side of the ground. So Lee Gathercold, the football, he's clever, plenty of skills, goes one way, then the other plays on, drops a short one. Up towards half forward, the mark taken by Robbie Thornton. Sandhurst controlling the football. Thornton goes to half forward. The target fits Gerald Porkick. Barham out in front, takes it on his chest. Marcus Barham, the mark and the footy at half back for Gisborne. So Marcus Barham goes short across the half back line, and Ty Elliott is there. He's uh, going to go back and take this kick from inside his own defensive 50. Goes short again, back towards centre half back, and the mark taken by Masaudi. The switch is on here for Gisborne. Masaudi goes across the half back flank. If uh, it'll sit here, England's a chance. Steady's on the grandstand wing now. Kicks up towards half forward. Good option down there is Elsom, who'd got away from Sammy Richardson. So Elsom, two kicks from goal. Looks for the lead of Reaper out towards the social club room's pocket. He might have been interfered with, and he was. The umpire's picked out the free kick against Kewen, who held one of Reaper's arms and also got into his back. And Stephen Reaper, Wayne Walsh, will go back and have a shot from 45. I was just, I was just thinking about two weeks ago when the same bloke couldn't run uh, 10 metres jock and all of a sudden today he's, he's approached the ball very ferociously in the first 30, well, 30 seconds. Today he ran another 30 metres. So two weeks of football has been the best thing for this big fella. Well, he's one of the greats of the, uh, the last few years in Bendigo footy and it's his last game today. He signalled earlier this year that uh, this would be his last season before uh, business commitments uh, take over uh, in his life. But he's, uh, he's one of the greats. In he comes. He'll kick from, from a fairly tough angle, greater than 45 degrees. In he comes on the right boot, pushes it across the face and just misses to the far side. Three for one behind. Scores a level. Gisborne, 128. Sanders, 128. After 11 and a half minutes in this first term on the one-stop Reynolds Mollison Street scoreboard. Clearly there too, Peter. I watched the replay on the big screen here at the Queen Elizabeth Oval and the free kick there all the way. Short kick out, taken by Kewen in the back pocket. Wastes no time. Comes down the wing, grandstand side. Terrific kick. Richardson, Sammy Richardson takes the mark for Sandhurst. He's been busy early. Goes in board. Atkinson on his own in the centre of the ground. Takes the grab. He wastes no time in turn, switching it to the outer side. Target over there is Noonan and he takes the mark at half forward. Good use of the footy, Sandhurst. Noonan now goes short. Inside 50. Over the head of the lead down there by Fitzgerald. Loose ball taken by Wood, uh, by Thornton. He turns. Fires into the goal square. Up they go. Sharp the mark. Can't complete it. He's under the pump from Andrews. And he's wrestled through with the football for a minor score for the Dragons. They take the lead by a solitary point. On the Tuddenham's carpet court top end of Mitchell Street scoreboard, the Sandhurst Dragons, 1-3-9. Gisborne, one 2 8, 12 minutes gone. First term of the grand final. Well, it's as, uh, as tough and tight as we expected here in the early stages. McInerney with the kick in here for Gisborne. He can go short to Barricade. That's where he heads out towards uh, centre half back. Still inside his own defensive 50 metre arc here, Barricade. He'll take play out towards the swing pool wing. Long kick out there looking for Canard. Atkinson comes across the front of the pack. Couldn't hold the mark. Canard weighted down. Picks up the footy. Kicks long on the left boot towards the half four flank. Borchard comes sliding out. Takes the mark in front of Jordan Barham. Mel Borchard, who's had a fantastic season for the Dragons, kicks short and he's got Perez on at centre half back. Just outside his own defensive 50. Zach Perez at half back with the footy for the centre side. Signals his intentions. Now he runs on, oh. gets around the player of the mark. No, he doesn't. Court has to handball. Gets the ball almost to the centre of the ground, but it's taken by Elsom. Hand pass to Luke Saunders. Couldn't pick it up off his bootstraps, but they work it inside 50. Numbers back with the Dragons, though. Noonan takes it, sweeps it wide. Target out there for them is Thornton. He takes the football on the wing. Grandstand side. Goes to Mitrovic, who marks it half forward. Kick and a half from goal. Mitro goes up towards 50. Over the back, Fitzgerald up high. Couldn't take the mark, Rick Andrews reads it picks up the crumb, goes front and centre towards Ben Sexton doesn't matter, he was dealt with he got hit by the Barricade Express and a free kick to Ben Sexton, 12 metres out, directly in front will cost Gisborne the ultimate price Walsh, how did you see it? Yeah, it was, it was well picked up by the umpire it's the second time now that Eddie has tried to just uh, maybe rough up Rick he missed him in the first 10 seconds of the bounce Tell you what Ben Sexton from 12 metres missed. out directly in front has missed. Bad miss. He's put it through for a minor score. That was a shocker. Sandhurst to 1-4-10. Gisborne, 1 2 8 Jock, on the Limerick Tavern scoreboard. Sorry, be, mate, to be talking while no, you're interrupting. It's fair to say that I think that they've, they've earmarked maybe Rick Andrews, maybe the key player for Sanders to stop today, I think. You'll find. McInerney with the kick in. Goes in towards the draggable dunny pocket. And he's got a lead there from uh, Stewie Hamilton, who's uh, hard... 
up against uh, the fullback line. He'll uh, look down the swimming pool wing. He's got Duff Teitler down there, also making a lead as Elson. Goes longer than that. Barricade drifted forward. Atkinson comes over the back of the pack, thumped it forward. Chance there for Jones. Just lost sight of the footy. Atkinson goes in and gets it again himself. He's gang tackled and holding the footy, says the umpire. I think he might have dropped it. And the free kick will go to Gisborne. And it'll be Oli Masaudi back there for the uh, Bulldogs to take this free kick. Halfback flank. Here for the uh, Bulldogs. He's got a lead from Canard up towards the swimming pool wing. Also shorter is uh, Hamilton. He can run away down the swimming pool wing now. Kicks along towards centre half forward. Barham the target down there again. But Borchard read the flight of the footy better. And Mel Borchard takes the mark at the halfback for the Dragons. Good battle. He goes wide and gives it to Stagg. He's got space at halfback. Almost run down by Reaper. Just gets a kick away. Goes to the wing on the grandstand side. It's taken down there by Thornton who kicks it up towards half forward. Out comes Andrews. Met again by Barricade but got out of hand pass. Couldn't put a teammate on the end of it. The football's right on 50 for the Dragons. Umpire's picked out a free kick. It'll go to Gisborne in defence. Marcus Barham will be the recipient. Wayne Walsh shakes his head. But it's been paid. The kick from Barham short and it's taken by Ali Masaudi who's still on defensive 50. So Masaudi goes long down the grandstand wing. Up they go. Big fly from Saunders. Couldn't take the mark. Jones read it at ground level. Little underground hand pass towards Kieran Prowse. Prowse now to Coma. Coma kicks inside 50 but uh, only as far as uh, Marcus Barron back there for the Bulldogs. The skipper goes short and finds Rodney Sharp. He's already got the plaster across the head. We're only 16 minutes into the first term. Let's see how he goes for the rest of the afternoon. Alexander Collins for Brian Dunbendigo. Luke Jones is coming Placed by Matt Sexton. Ball kick towards the centre of the ground. Marking contest. Nobody can take it. Loose ball across the middle. Vital possession. Players from both sides fight for it on hands and knees. Nobody can get it out and the umpire will ball it up. It is between centre and centre wing on the outer side. Right across midfield. The umpire... Balls it up. Up they go. Atkinson and Duff Titler. Duff Titler wins it down. Chance for Prowse. Can't take it. Under pressure from Curzio. Umpire's picked out a free kick. Said Curzio interfered. And Kieran Prowse will take the free kick for Sandhurst. Just slightly on defensive side of the centre. And he'll drive it up towards half forward. Takes his time, Prowse. Now goes back with one of those beautiful long trademark kicks. Absolute shocker. Straight <laughs> out of bounds on the full. Thank you, Kieran, for that. <laughs> out of bounds on the full. Free kick will go at half back. <laughs> to Gisborne. Here's your car. Good on you. <laughs> I'm looking like a goose. I'll remind him of that afterwards. So Jason duff Tightler will take this uh, free kick for Gisborne. Awkward left foot kick goes down the swing pool wing. Up there, big fly from behind. Good thump away by Perez. Out towards the wing again. Picked up there by Curcio. He's tackled. Just got a hand pass away towards Shane Davis. Davis now, hand pass on. He's got Elliot. Elliot kicks inside 50, looking for the leader, Reaper. Ball just goes past him. Barham's at the back of the pack, tackled by Boa Borchard. Great stuff. He slid in, held the footy up. And he's had a blinding first 17 and a half minutes, Mel Borchard, Wayne Walsh. He has. He does a very good tackle in the right time. And also, a player like Elliot's playing very well for Gisman Perter. Crucial matchup that'll be. It's tapped out in the direction of Elsom. Close in on the forward pocket. Kicks around the body, across the goal, across the Gisman goal. And a mark in the last line of defence is taken down there for uh, Sandhurst. And I'm not sure the player actually that took it down there might have been uh, Perez, was it? He's Matt Stagg, I think. Matt Stagg, thank you very much. Would have been my second guess. He goes out to the pocket. Taken down there by uh, Woodford. Kick down the wing, grandstand side. Whistle on play. Free kick to the Dragons. And it'll go to Gathercole. So Gathercole's got it on the grandstand wing. He prepares to drive his side up towards half forward. Lee Gathercole will kick uh, long towards centre half forward here. Fitzgerald, the target. Also there, Ben Sexton. Third in line. Sexton, one, two grabs. Couldn't take the mark. Rove by Marcus Barham. Dashes away off half back. Kick across the ground, out towards the swimming pool wing. And uh, Matt Canna had found some space out there. Kicks now up towards the half forward flank. Geordie Barham, the target, strong hands out in front. Barham takes a good mark in front of Borchard. So Geordie Barham, he's 65 metres from goal. Looks for the lead of Reaper, out he comes. Oh, he kicked into the man on the mark. Borchard taps it out in front. And he can run away down the swimming pool wing. Now kicks back in towards the centre corridor. And he's got Bradley Coma. Coma takes the mark, measures it, goes towards Niall at half forward. Went over his head, close to the line. Gather Cole, can't gather it in. And it's taken it over for a throw-in. Out of side, half forward. Sandhurst in their attacking half of the ground. They lead by two points 
at the 19 minute mark of the first term of the grand final. Eight place, 10 from the throw in. Tap towards 50 for the Dragons. After it, McInerney can't pick it up. It's picked up though by Anglin of Gisborne. Kicks mother, has got to go again. Taken by Mitrovic, kick across the body. In fact, he's had a shot, a flying shot, a shocker. Out of bounds on the full. Another penalty free kick to the Gisborne Bulldogs in defence right next to their behind post. And I reckon that's about six out on the fulls so far in perfect conditions. Just goes to show the pressure that's involved in this game this afternoon. Normally reliable kicks under the pump are putting a ball out on a full. Free kick in the back pocket taken by Marcus Barham. He plays on and uh, almost got himself into trouble. Just gets the kick away oh. and, well, he did get himself Another into way. trouble. The kick slews away out of bounds on the full. And Matt Sexton is back there for the Dragons to take the free kick. He's uh, some 75 metres from goal. And over on the swing, pool wing. He's got a, a lead from Mitrovic in towards the Camp Hill pocket. Ignores that one. Fitzgerald's back down towards the square. Also Sexton kicks long towards the square. Atkinson down there as well. Fitzgerald, one, two, grabs, takes the mark. Mark Fitzgerald for the Dragons. 35 metres out, having a bit of a wrestle with uh, an angry Eddie Barricay. He's uh, had the, the nasty pills this morning, Jock. And... Mark Fitzgerald, Wayne, will go back and have a shot from 35. He should be second goal, and he's just out-bustled out Marcus Barham in a one-on-one -on -one situation. So, I mean, at this stage, if Mark kicks his goal, you'd say be on top of Marcus, although Marcus has played a fairly good role in, in the back line. He should be second goal inside the first, what, 20 minutes of play. So He's uh, so important to the Dragons' chances today. If his kicking is on, then Sandhurst are on. In he comes, on the left boot, kicks into the man on the mark. Bolt drops towards the top of the goal square, taken by Mark McInerney. He's clearing kick. Bounces once towards Masaudi on the half-back flank. Masaudi now kicks up towards Saunders on centre wing. Couldn't take the mark. Ball goes off hands and out of bounds. But, uh, well, he's a confidence player. Fitzgerald, uh, there, Wayne, uh, what will that do to him, do you think? Well, shouldn't do much, but it's, it's really inexplicable nowadays with modern senior players. Should not kick in the man the mark any time, Peter. That's two almost sitters that the Dragons are missed. Throw in on the wing, grandstand side. Duff Titler takes it, tries to do his own roving cart. Thornton gets it out, goes again, gives it to Gather Cole. Can he get through the traffic? He can't. He's bustled over the line by Fitzgerald. And it'll be thrown back into play almost right in front of the commentary box. Santa's front half of the ground between wing and half board. Here, uh, here's Alexander Collins for Brian Dunn Bendigo. Rod Woodford onto the ground will play a defensive role on Ty Elliott and just an off. So we'll have a uh, boundary throw in right in front of our two boundary riders, Mark Burke and Alexander Collins. Umpire to put the ball back into play. Matt Sexton and Jason Duff Titler in ruck. Long high throw in, tapped away here by Duff Titler. Kennard then palmed it on towards Ty Elliott. With the look away hand pass, he goes to Shane Davis. Davis now kicks a high ball towards centre half forward. Saunders with the sit, takes the mark out in front. Luke Saunders on his, uh, on his backside, hand pass off to Elliott. He kicks from 60 metres long towards the square. Reaper against Kewen. Kewen out in front, takes the mark. Matty Kewen who held a uh, Reaper goalless just a couple of weeks ago, takes the mark. Now across the full-back line, in towards the scoreboard pocket, he's got Perez. Perez, little chip kick over the top, and they're on here down the outer side, uh, the Dragons. Ball just held up now, and the kick will be taken by Noonan. Goes up through the centre of the ground, looking for Gather Cole. Matt Fitzgerald made a good effort, couldn't Ooh. take the mark. Ball beat everyone, Vigas picked it up. Hand pass off towards Thornton. Thornton's hand pass was too odd. He has to go back in and get it again. He was crunched. Then got the hand pass away towards Gather Cole. Gather Cole now out towards the camp. He'll flank Sexton. The target takes the mark. Ben Sexton, 48 metres from goal, Wayne Walsh. I think if uh, Sanders can isolate uh, Sexton with Sharp, one-on situation, better be too strong in the air for him. But uh, look at the way Sanders have played the game so far. A lot of their possessions have been chip football. Around, around the ground, chipping away, chipping away. And if they can just get one out, with Ben against Sharp, you, most times you'd back Ben. They've been doing all right, the Dragons, but they need to uh, they need to kick a couple of these chances. Mm. So Ben Sexton, he's uh, got the footy in hand. Might test him the distance. He'll kick from right on the 50 metre arc, and uh, the tall timbers back on the goal line for Gisborne. In he comes on the right boot. It's a wobbly old kick. Won't make the distance. Bit of pushing and shoving in the pack. No one takes the mark. Duff Titler picks up the footy. Just hacks it away out towards centre half back. Andrews is the first one there. Tapped it back inside 50, but uh, only as far as Ollie Masaudi. Masaudi's kick towards the wing. Chance down there for Saunders. Luke Saunders takes the football. Got some space. Kicks around the body to Canard at half forward. He's got two to beat and beats them. Canard for Gisborne. Picks it up. Goes towards Reaper out on the lead. Knocked away by Kewen, still in 50, taken by Elliott for the Bulldogs, turns, got a player on short, goes to him, the mark's taken by Curzio, 40 metres out, maybe not that far, 35 metres out, directly in front, and good play I think started with Saunders, who got space on the, the grandstand wing, 
and used the ball beautifully. And well done, Elliot, who's proving a handful. He's elusive, he's all over the place, and he making, he's making his possessions count. But now it's Curzio lining up directly in front, 35 metres out. Chance for Gisborne to go back into the lead. The kick on its way. Oh, it's close. It's given the goal umpire plenty of work. He has missed it. Well, kicking for goal from both sides, inexplicably ordinary. The scoreboard shows Gisborne 139, Sandhurst 1410. Mark Burke for Brian Dunn Bendigo. Yeah, Gisborne have made a change. Fitzgerald off and uh, Ferrugio on. Kick in taken by Prowse, goes to the, towards the outer side mark, taken there by Thornton. He chips a kick up towards centre wing. Luke Saunders chips in to take the mark over the top of Noonan. Saunders now inside by hand, looking for Jordan Barham. Eventually takes control of the footy, gave it to the Mickelson medalist and Nelson. Swings round on the left boot, kicks long inside 50. It's all Sanders back there. And drifting back to take the mark is Mal Borchard. 30 metres out from his uh, own goal. He'll uh, look straight up the centre of the ground. Hasn't got much to kick to. And he's just holding on to the footy now. Now goes out towards the grandstand side flank. And the mark taken there by Zach Perez. Perez got loose and he's got the mark. He's still inside his own defensive 50. Now pops it up. The lead's down there from uh, Rod Woodford. He can't take the mark. Loose over the back. Anglin picks it up. Good give by hand to Marcus Barham. Hand pass to Elsom. Elsom from the middle of the ground. Goes wide to the outer side. Canard the target. Knocked away by Noonan. Luke Saunders at the back. Gathers it in beautifully. Runs inside 50. Centering kick to Curzio. Got him. Again, the old one-two. Beautiful use of the footy, Luke Saunders. And Curzio's mark, 45 metres out, slight angle. And he'll go back and shoot for goal. Well, he missed one probably 10 metres closer just a moment ago. I don't know what that'll do to his confidence, but Chris Curzio lines up for the Bulldogs who trail by a point. Late in the first term of the grand final, Curzio from about 47 metres gives it a ride. No better than the first effort. Went to the opposite side and put it through for a minor score. Scores level on the one-stop Reynolds Mollison Street scoreboard at the 26-minute mark of the first term of the grand final. It is 1-4-10 apiece. Press, uh, keen to get things moving, goes into the scoreboard pocket, short towards Perez. He now blazes away down the grandstand wing, and it's all Gisborne back there. Hamilton takes the footy, got a hand pass across to Masaudi. Masaudi, little chip kick over the top to Jason duff Tytler, who's just held up. Two kicks from goal. He'll get onto that left boot, kicks long towards the square. Reaper down there also. Jordan Barham, he goes up. Couldn't quite hold the mark. Yes, he did, in fact. Held it down towards the ground. Great mark with two Santos players coming over the top. And Jordan Barham, Wayne Walsh, will have a shot from 35. He's creating a lot, a lot of havoc there at centre-half four, but uh, just the way that Gisborne are bringing the ball in, they obviously want to use Jordan's height to his advantage. But as Jock said, both forward lines have let, let the, both sides down with the kicking for goal, Jock. I mean, they, both sides should be three or four goals this stage. Oh, look, Elsom's linking up well, but gee, uh, Luke Saunders, the danger yep. man at the moment. Yep. Here comes Barham to put Gisborne in front on the right boot, starts it towards the near side, no swings it back. He's put it through. Gisborne's second goal. And they open up a six-point lead. Gisborne 2-4-16 on the Newmarket Hotel, Charleston Road scoreboard. Sandhurst 1-4-10. We've played 27 and a half minutes, Wayne Walsh. Yeah, a good goal by, by Marcus Barham, but I also think that Duff Totler is causing some headaches around the ground. He's using his big bulk. He's a big boy, and uh, he's giving the, uh, the smaller players first use of the ball. As Jock said, Luke Saunders is creating space. And also, out in the, on the half-forward flank, I, I, Canard's also becoming okay there, Jock. Creating space there. Oh, just having a look at uh, the large crowd here in attendance. While she's back in the centre, there's the ball up. Both Ruckman actually had a swipe at it and missed it. They're swatting flies. Duff Titler picks it up. He gets the clearance. Long towards Elliot. Can't mark it. Gets it on the bounce. Now he's tackled, but gets a hand pass to Elsom. Elsom runs to half forward. Goes short and gives it to Barham. They're playing good footy, the reigning premiers. Oh. Barham into the goal square. On his own down there, taking the balls for Regia and runs in, strolls in and kicks a goal. Two in a minute to the Bulldogs. They go out to 3-4-22. Sandhurst, 1-4-10 on the Perros Paint scoreboard. Alexander Collins for Brian Dunn, Bendigo. Haythorpe on for Sandhurst, Matt Sexton off and Woodford off and... Thanks, thanks Alexander. Once again, Jock, uh, Duff Totter out of the centre, straight to Elliot. Elliot moved the ball on to Elsom. Elsom moved the ball on down to, to Barham. All the key players for Gisborne using the ball then. So ball back in the centre once again. Is there time for one more for the Bulldogs? They've got a bit of a run on here. Duff Tyler tried to take the ball straight out of the ruck. Couldn't uh, pick it up. Kick forward now by Masaudi up towards centre half forward. Richardson did well. Running back with the uh, fly to the ball. Picked up the footy. His kick was partly smothered. Taken now by Vigas. He's crunched in the tackle. And the ball will be held up right in the centre of the QEO. We'll have a ball up. 
Is that so, Bob Vargas' first touch? Uh, yep. Second, maybe. Second. Yeah, he hasn't uh, hasn't had much of an influence so far, Mark Vargas, the rising star this season. Well, ball in the centre of the ground. 29 minutes gone on the clock. First term, umpire balls it up. True centre of the Queen Elizabeth Oval. Up they go. Atkinson and Duff Titler. Neither won it effectively. The tap out favours the Dragons in the end, though, but it's taken down there by Anglin. Anglin of Gisborne goes back towards half forward for the Bulldogs. Cannard after it. Clever tap over his head. Who can run onto it? Borchard can. Gets there. Needs support. He's in trouble. Has to get rid of it quickly. It's worked inside 50 for the Bulldogs. Going back, Perez takes it. Can he find some space? He's under the pump, lost it. Noonan picks it up, threads out a hand pass. The back half of Sandhurst stand up on this occasion. No, they clear. Back to the wing on the outer side. Nile takes it. Good hands. Gives it to Gathercole. Has a bounce. Runs to half forward. Kicks inside. 50 Sexton. The Ben variety takes the mark. 45 metres out. 20 in from the boundary. Tough kick. There's the siren. He has to have a shot at goal. So good Fast transference by Sandhurst, right on quarter time, and Ben Sexton shoots for goal. He'll kick from 50. Fairly tight angle, important kick. Can he make the distance? Monster, he's made the distance. <laughs> what about the accuracy? No, oh. I got excited. I thought he'd kicked it, he didn't. Quarter time in the grand final, Gisborne 3 4 22, lead Sandhurst. 1511. This is the fresh 895 FM's live footy.